AutoCAD 2013 allows us to import Inventor assembly and part data directly into the model space of our current drawing session. Here, we select an assembly, mark it for open, and we'll be warned that the assembly and parts will be opened in a non-associative mode. That is, we'll be importing a snapshot of the assembly and parts as they are, but they will not be parametric in any way, shape, or form. But even though they're not parametric or associative, it will still be very useful for us to access this geometry for use in the layout tabs, where we'll be creating documentation throughout the remainder of the segments in this series. We'll acknowledge this with an OK, and now we'll be told that the import job is processing in the background. As we can see down here in the system tray, there is an import icon now. So we'll go ahead and acknowledge this and close, and we'll simply wait for that processing to occur in the background. Once our import file processing is complete, we can simply click on the link here and the geometry will be brought directly into our model space session. Now, as you can see, once the geometry is brought in, it is subject to the last coordinate settings from the modeler, that is inventor in this case, from how it was saved. So you may have to actually perform some three-dimensional rotations on the geometry to get it oriented with your UCS triad for your purposes. That's what's involved with importing inventor geometry. As we move through the remainder of the videos in this series, we'll see how we can work with this geometry in layout tabs.